Hi there, I'm Anita. Today, I'd like to share with you something about phobia. There are many kinds of phobia in this world, like acrophobia, hemophobia, social phobia, and so on. And today, I'd like to talk about my own phobia. I'm afraid of butterflies. Of course, I understand the importance of establishing a good relationship with butterflies. And I did try to build rapport with them. I just can't. I believe that if you are socially awkward or something like that, you may overcome social phobia by gradually increasing your social exposure. But I think that kind of exposure exercises does not really work for all the other kinds of phobia. When I was still in the kindergarten, my class went on a field trip. It was just so long ago that I can't remember all the details. What haunted my brain for so many years is that we were brought to a botanic garden which is full of plants and butterflies. I was surrounded by tens of thousands of butterflies and they just appeared so close to me. I was scared to death. Then I ran away and I was just a punchline. Many years later, when watching the movie Get Out, I feel like that I was Chris. The young black man who is invited to a weekend getaway upstate and uncovers a disturbing secret when he meets the family of his white girlfriend. He is surrounded by numerous disgusting white people who want his body, organs more specifically. He just wants to get out of that place. And I totally understand that feelings, though butterflies don't want anything from me. When encountering butterflies, at first, I feel like I was thrown into a sunken place, conscious but powerless. Later, I was like, is there any TSA agent that can help me out? That outdoor education is the biggest nightmare in my whole life. I remember that Stephen King once said that when he was young, his grandma told him, only by facing our fears can we overcome them. This is the reason why he devotes himself to writing plenty of horror stories in his life. He is afraid of ghosts or some scary things as normal people, but he chooses to get rid of his fear by writing. But it works, and the rest is history. Some people may say that you eventually lose your fear and become more comfortable in that situation with repeated exposure. But I think that's totally bullshit for me when it comes to facing butterflies. How can I expect a person to react normally and live harmoniously with butterflies after traumatic injuries caused by them? Therefore, I did some research about this kind of phobia. The fear of butterflies and moths is called labdoterophobia. Motophobia, or the fear of moths alone, is closely related to this phobia. Those who suffer generally call themselves motophobies. Labdopteraphobia is derived from the word labdopterans. The over 155,000 species of insects, including butterflies, moths, and skippers. It may be hard to pronounce, but it's not hard to find. While fear of spiders or arachnophobia is the most common insect fear people encounter. Fear of butterflies and moths is also a fairly common phobia. So, how to deal with butterflies is still the biggest problem for me to solve. And so far, my solution is to stay miles away from them. And if I run into them accidentally, I'll help myself as time goes by. After all, time heals everything.